could see this giant monolithic slab just sitting there. Um, at first, it didn't, you know, once again, it, it didn't set off any alarms. I didn't think much of it, but the closer we got to it, I could feel this intense vibration. And, but uh, you couldn't hear anything. It was dead silent in there. Uh, the the loudest thing was the the footsteps that I could hear. And uh, what what did the vibration feel like? It felt like being at a concert, standing next to one of the speakers, and without the bass the noise. just permeating through your body without the noise. There was zero noise. Zero vibration. Absolute zero. I could still hear myself breathing over this, but inside, I have such a strange feeling to have so the closer i got and i was like well, i gotta check this out so i go down to one knee you know that fact and i gotta tie my boots and then i glance up underneath it and there's absolutely nothing underneath this damn thing nothing holding it up whatsoever what did the slab look like it just looked like a, a granite slab but the sheen on it is is what caught my attention the most it was kind of in between being polished or just completely translucent. There was something behind it, but you could tell it had a smooth surface to us. And the only lights that were on in that hangar that we were in were directly over our head where we were walking through that walkway. And how big was the slab? Oh God, it was about 20 foot long. It was about seven foot tall, and I couldn't tell how wide it was. By that point, I was already directly in front of it. So there's like, absolutely, it would be impossible for a human to even think about picking something like this up. Oh, there's no way. Okay. Even with the construction that we've done, if you had to pick up something like that to move it anywhere, you would need at least three, four cranes. Oh, wow. Herrera could tell you better. Okay. Yeah. You know, the the scope of equipment that it would take just to get it off the ground, you know, not even to transport it to a uh, another location. But uh, at this point, I'm still down on my knee and I'm looking, and behind it, I can see two people standing. The only thing I can see is their feet, but there's there's this boulder directly behind it, and it's on the ground. And I glance over my shoulder, and there's a guy with his back turned to me standing in front of another boulder identical of the other one that I could see up underneath the monolithic slab, and he's just pushing it with one hand. And then I assume he's pushing it in the other direction because it's just freely spinning, no wobble. It's like it was attached to the top and the bottom, and it was paper mache. That's how easily this guy was just spinning it around. Wow. Now, at this point... Um, the escort behind me kicks me in the back, says, let's go. So we get up, keep going, go down uh, a flight of stairs. That's when we get to what we call the shoot house. Um, you could see old lanes where they had actually used it before as a live fire range underground. And um, we'd probably only been down there 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes maybe. Father was taking notes on the dimensions, what we needed, what I guess he understood what they wanted. Um, and I know that we had to replace the walls. It's inconsequential to the story, but we had to replace the rubber on the walls for the uh, shoot house. And in that amount of time, we go back upstairs, exact same route that we took on the way down, and everything's empty when we get to the hangar again. Everything, the two boulders in the back, the monolithic slab, all of it is absolutely gone. And it was, we weren't, you know, 100 yards below these guys. We were just one flight below them. So whatever it was that they were taking out, we would have heard it. it you, even the, yeah, the people making noise around it, you would have still been able to hear. But it was dead silent. Like I said uh, before, there was nothing in there. Just our feet, but coming back through, it was absolutely gone. Everything in there just vacated. And at, at that point, it's how much time had passed? Less than thirty minutes. Less than thirty minutes, because it, it didn't take us long to do what we had to do downstairs. 